Hello and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we're discussing about the concept of integration by parts. So we have done a video on how to integrate using the concept of by parts in our last class. So I'll drop the um, our first very first video on integration by parts in our last class. I'll drop the, the link in the description of this video, right? So for this class, we'll try to solve other problems under integration by parts. As you can see the question in front of us here so one says integrate s to power s squared exponential 3x dx of course i'm seeing two things here i'm seeing x and exponential 3x this these are two terms multiplying each other so you apply the concept of by part you said by part is applied when two variable of or value are multiplying each other right <coughs> All right, at this point now, how do you solve this one using the concept of by part? When it comes to by part, you said by part as a formula or perhaps a mathematical expression which I'll be giving you now. So recall that um, from there, recall that, recall that when it comes to by part, we said the integral of u um, dv is equal to u dot v minus the integral of um, v du v du so it becomes a mathematical expression for calculating problems under um, integral right or perhaps under integration by parts all right how do you solve this one now using this uh, uh, idea we said our very first task is to compare this man here with a given question so i'll compare the i will compare um this one here with this given um expression here so what do i get so i'll have that the integral of u dv is equal to the integral of x squared exponential 3x so i'll pick out these two um variable here as you can see so it means that x um u will represent x y dv will represent exponential 3x now before i proceed let me show you some shortcuts right so last class on the integration we tried to explain something that if i integrate if I integrate um, sine x, if I integrate sine x, what do I have? I'll have minus cos x. That becomes minus cos x. If I integrate cos x, I'll have um, sine x as my expression, as we said last class. Also, note this relationship, please. If I integrate exponential 3x, all right if i integrate exponential 3x right with respect to the x what would be my answer here's the tax exponential 3x i'll repeat down exponential 3x all over differentiate 3x i'll have 3 next up plus c so the idea that when it comes to integrating exponential functions the idea is quite simple the idea is that repeat that question here all over differentiate the power i have 3 here then plus c this is how to um, integrate exponential function um, when it comes to applying shortcuts. So I'm saying that if I have integral of exponential 2x squared with respect to the x, if I integrate this one, what do I expect as my answer? Take out this function, that's exponential 2x squared all over differentiate the power. I'll have 4x. 4x plus c. This becomes how to integrate something of this nature. All right, let's um, move back to this concept. From here now, u is now x. So from here, my u is equal to x squared per se. So from here now, if I differentiate u with respect to x, um, by the way, when it comes to my part, I need four things. I need to know the value of u and the u, value of v and the v. That's the concept. So I have no u now. Let's get the u. Let's get the u to get the u i will differentiate differentiate um s squared i'll have 2x all right um after differentiating s squared i have 2x all right next up the v i'm given that the v is equal to exponential 3x exponential 3x i need to know what v i need to know v right so let's get v now listen up listen up 
um for, from this point now i'm given the v to be exponential 3x to get v will i integrate or differentiate think for a y i am given um the v right so to get v will i integrate or differentiate so um at this point now i'm going to use the idea of what um integration so i'm given u to get the u you differentiate but i'm given the v this is one differentiation to get v i'll have to what i'll have to integrate so if i integrate through here yeah? so if i integrate exponential 3x observe integrating exponential 3x i had what the exponential 3x over 3 similarly i'll have exponential 3x all over 3 after integrating exponential 3x i had 3x 3 exponential 3x over 3 all right at this point now what do we do next my next tax now is that if i integrate this man here observe please ev everything here now becomes this of course integral integral u my u now is s squared my dv is what this one so it means that if i integrate this question this one if i integrate um x squared exponential 3x with respect to the x what do we get everything here is what is here right so what do i get is what is here so this is u what's my u my u is s squared so i'll have x squared dot v what's my v v is exponential 3x over 3 that's exponential 3x all over 3 next up minus sign i have a minus sign here so this is integral i have integral of this is v check this v i have exponential 3x all over 3 next up um the v okay the u per se what's the u the u is 2x i have dot 2x at this point if i integrate this function here the integral of s squared exponential 3x with respect to the x will be equal in value to multiply the numerator i'll have x squared exponential 3x all over 3 i have this one here minus i have a minus sign integral multiply exponential 3x with 2x i'll have 2x exponential 3x all over 3 next up what's next at this point of course from me now my next tax is to take out constant term outside the integral sign so what do i get i'll have the integral of x squared exponential 3x dx will be equal to drop this down i'll have x squared exponential 3x over 3 minus we said constant term is 2 over 3 outside the integral sign i'll have 2 over 3 the integral of x exponential 3x at this point here i can't leave this as, as my answer because i can see an integral symbol and two variables here so this one now observe this one i'll pick out this one in the center this one i'll solve it again using what the using the idea of um by part because there are these are two things here multiplying so i'll say apply by part again so at this point now i can't leave this as my answer at this point i can't leave this as my answer here yeah? so i have to pick out this one and, and solve it again using by part so picking out picking out the integral of x exponential 3x let me um, simplify this one when i'm done i'll put my value here right so simplify this one what do we know so this, this should be u this is what dv so if u is x what's my sorry if u is x what's value for the u the u will what will be one this becomes um dv i've just said earlier now i'll have that the v is given as exponential 3x all over sorry exponential 3x as you can see the v so my dv um is exponential 3x to get v we said we are going to integrate so v is not equal to if i integrate exponential 3x i just said earlier now integrating exponential 3x i had exponential 3x over 3 similarly i'll have exponential 3x all over 3 so i have this one here so at this point here what's next of course my next tax now is to apply the formula which we just stated earlier now so if i integrate it means that if i integrate this man if i integrate 
x exponential 3x with respect to the x or perhaps if i degree this i will have what we said our very first tax is to um start with u what's my u here u is x i have x dot v what's v v is exponential 3x over 3 exponential 3x all over 3 i'm done with this minus minus the integral this is the integral what's v v is exponential 3x over 3 exponential 3x all over 3 dot what's the u of course the u is 1 i have 1 at this point so from here what's our next procedure my next task from here now is to simplify this um further all right since find this one better if i integrate this man if i integrate x sorry x exponential 3x right it will be equal in value to s times exponential 3x over 3 i'll have x exponential 3x all over 3 as my answer when multiplying this one so minus i have a minus sign here minus the integral the integral of what exponential 3x over 3 times 1 we still give exponential 3x over 3 i have this one here all right at this point here if i integrate x exponential 3x it will be equal in value to put this one down i have x exponential 3x all over 3 next up minus i can see um i can see a constant here this one here i have the integral of exponential 3x all over 3 this can still be broken down as saying the integral of 1 over 3 exponential 3x the same thing 1 times this we give this all over 3 so i'll pick out this constant term here 1 over 3 outside the integral sign so i'll have 1 over 3 that is this one outside the integral sign integral of what i'll leave it what exponential 3x so at this point here what's the next tax my next tax is that if i integrate this value the integral of x exponential 3x we give what i say i'll turn this one down i'll have x exponential 3x all over 3 next up a minus sign i have 1 over 3 into integrate exponential 3x i'll have what there i'll have exponential 3x all over 3 as we just discuss the shortcut to solve this now all right at this point here my answer is to multiply through so i'll have if i integrate as x exponential 3x i will have x exponential 3x all over 3 minus 1 times exponential 3x we give exponential 3x all over 3 times 3 we give 9 so it means that so at this point now it means that if i integrate this value this one i'll have this expression so the idea is that after i integrate this one i had this answer i'll put this answer this answer here inside this equation here so it means that um from here i'll take it back from here from here now um the integral now in integral of x squared exponential 3x dx will be equal to repeat this one i have x squared x squared exponential 3x all over 3 minus um at this point now observe that i'm having 2 over 3 so i'll put um 2 over 3 if i integrate x exponential 3x i'll have what there all this expression so i'll have into everything here x exponential 3x all over 3 minus exponential 3x all over 9 so i have this one here at this point so at this point here what's next my next is to repeat this function down so i have um the integral of x squared exponential 3x dx has been equal in value to repeat this one down i'll have x squared exponential 3x all over 3 minus 2 times s exponential um 3x i'll have i'll use it 2 over 3 to to expand this bracket through so what's the idea 
The rest of that, I'll multiply 2 times x times exponential 3x. So I'll have 2x exponential 3x all over 3 times 3 will give 9. I'm done with this. Minus minus will give plus, right? So 2 times exponential 3x will give 2 exponential 3x all over 3 times 9. That's about 27. 27. Next up, plus C. So this becomes um, my answer after integrating this question. So see you in our next class.